Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Mobile Freak and today we will test these two devices. One on the left side is Samsung Galaxy S20 FE with 8 GB of RAM and 128 GB of internal storage with Exynos, Exynos 990 inside of it, so it's not Snapdragon, just to mention that. And this one on the right side is Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus with same 8 GB of RAM but 100 and same 128 gigabytes of internal storage but the CPU is also Exynos but the different generation so right now we will turn them off and after that we will turn them on at the same time and we will see which one of them you know is faster at booting up by the way let me turn both off and after that we will turn them on and we will see which one of them is faster, you know. And guys, if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe to it and help me through that 5k goal. Just yesterday, we, you know, took, uh, took that 4k milestone. And right now, we will turn this both device at the same time. 3, 2, 1, go. And right now, we're chasing 5k, you know, we will never stop never ever stop just to mention that so let's give them some more seconds and see which one of them you know is faster at booting up and of course newer is faster not every time but in most of the tests newer is faster and s20 fe is faster compared to this s10 plus just a little bit Nothing too crazy. So right now, let's check is everything closed in the background. It is, and we can start right now with phone dialer. Pretty much the same. Let's go back. Messages. Pretty same. Play Store. Faster on S10 Plus. Really, really crazy right now. Let's go with YouTube. Again, faster on this S10 Plus. Settings right now S20 FE right Facebook S10 plus We have whatsapp right now Faster on S20 FE just mention this We need to turn off the sound of both of them. Let's go right now with Viber Faster on S10 plus Instagram S10 plus again. Why is this like that? S20 FE is faster here Snapchat S20 FE again jetpack first game Let's see is there any difference because S20 FE must be faster device No S10 plus again so Let me turn off the sound of this S20 FE and Let's go back. This is starting to be really awkward for my opinion. S20 FE is slower in most of, you know, app opening right now. I don't know why. Let's see in this Assault 9 Legends. S10 Plus without any problems. Let's go back to home screen. Right now we have to open Angry Birds 2. Pretty much the same guys, not gonna lie, you are the judge every single time, just to mention that you are the judge and you can tell if you see something is faster or it's not because I cannot be every time correct you know and S10e S10 plus is again faster this is pretty awkward for my opinion let's go with temple run 2 and this time S20 FE is faster but I will do this again because we have some downloading in on this S10 plus Let's go again right now with that. Where is Temple Run 2? And you can see right now they are 
pretty close, but S20 FE just a little bit faster. Yeah, just a little bit, nothing much. Let's go with Geekbench 5 and let me see where that is. No, we don't have. Let's install that. Uh, let's test them both. They both just let me a little bit bright up and let's go with this CPU benchmark test and we will see which one of them, you know, is better in CPU test right now. And we'll be back after this test finish. And we are back guys, you can see the difference between these two devices is pretty awkward guys, I need to tell that because we have the really strange single core of this Exynos 990 and we can, you know, have just great multi-core score compared to this S10 Plus, but single core score is better on this S10 Plus compared to this S20 FE, I'm not the, you know, smart for this but that's the results you can see Exynos 990 versus Exynos 9820 you know let's go right now 8 gigabytes of RAM 8 gigabytes of, of both and Android 10 Android 10 so let's go back to home screen uh, right now we have to open speed test by Okla and see the difference in you know internal downloading speed Let's first go with this S20 FE edition. And let's go right now with this S10 Plus. And S10 Plus is you now just a little bit better over this S20 FE, you know. In that downloading speed and in uploading, they are pretty much the same, I'm not gonna lie. Let's go back to home screen. Right now we have to open a Zedge. Fast run S20 FE. Color switch for the last tab. And you can see pretty much the same. So right now we will see which one of them is better in a RAM management test. Let's go with phone dialer. No reload, messages, same, Play Store, there was some kind of reload on S20 FE, YouTube, both keep that, let's go with settings, no reload, Facebook, both reloaded that, WhatsApp right now, both keep that, Viber, just S20 FE reloaded, Instagram, both reloaded, Wish, both keep that, Snapchat, both keep that, Jetpack first game of the, this test, maybe both keep that, yeah, they did. Let's go back to home screen, we have Asphalt 9 Legends. And S20 FE failed to keep this app in background, but S10E didn't, let's go with Angry Birds 2, both keep that. Subway Surfers, S20 FE again failed to keep that in background compared to S10 Plus which just keep without any problems and same for this game, S20 FE failed in Tempo Run 2, Speed Test by Okla, both keep that, we have Geekbench 5 which is here, both keep that, let's go with Zedge, both keep that, and last step, Color Switch, so both keep that. I just can talk about this, you know, S20 FE is new device and probably it's not that optimized for right now and S10 Plus is just around, you know, in in two or three months, from two or three months it will be around two year old, 
and you know for two years they can optimize him pretty much to full you know and S20 FE is just released about two or three months I'm not gonna lie you but about two months and it's not optimized it's just new a really new they need to you know make some patches make some updates and it will be great over time it will be much better over this S10 plus but for now S10 plus is still not bad just because this one here is not optimized enough that's guys pretty much it for this test if you're new to the channel please make sure to subscribe to it help me to reach that 5k goal and we will see you in the next one peace